see basically uh, i started my career in 2006 with phoenix building solution so phoenix uh, construction technology which is basically uh, coming out from the parental company of mnb group and uh, uh, i just took a charge for the company for the hr and administration areas actually and uh, <coughs> the management was very agile and they gave me a, a chance to introduce myself in the field of the project so i came into that particular field actually so uh, around 17 to 18 years i served with phoenix and recently in uh, july 23 i took a charge for akurai as a executive director so that is basically my own pv journey of a 17 to 18 years that is specifically <coughs> to a one company and How that is ah excellent excellent we started from initially 29000 metric ton a day production and when i left uh, we reached 260 metric ton per day so you can imagine the journey from that to this actually <laughs> it was enlightened See the Akurai, which I observed that they are very agile to take the decision. They are they are risk taker actually, which I had seen in PB. Uh, if something is new to be introduced, they will be the going to take the first chance on that, because it is it has been uh, two and a half or three years old company, <coughs> but now from twenty four thousand to sixty thousand to go for December twenty three, they have a clear vision about that. all the directors and second thing is that the value which you are talking about for the akurai it's purely on a team work no intervention from board of directors are coming for a regular operations they will be meeting once in a month and that too on a cup of tea nothing more so uh, one month only for a half a day there is a meeting with directors they are doing their business we are doing our business and we are meeting with them. the trust and teamwork these are the two definitions that's why you can see uh, the punch line of uh, akura is building trust actually it is not for a building to a building no we are not in business of building a building build build a building but in the field of building a trust actually so it's a fully open and transparent working environment yeah one actually which i was not the part of that particular uh, uh, operation but which i heard from the people those who are involved into that uh, that was the one of the asia's largest uh, french fry manufacturing company uh, constructed by akurai with name of iskon balaji uh, here at himmatnagar which is asia's largest french fry mill somehow it got accident and uh, fire took place and that has to be rebuilt within very stipulated timeline and it was around 900 metric ton which they have delivered and completed and handed over to them in a two and half months actually so that was the the thrilling part of a team work actually which has worked out two and half months to deliver and they started their operation obviously some of the things which were going on simultaneously but uh, plant has been handed over to them in a two and a half months that is one of the thing which i had seen second thing which i had seen that the akurai is having a core business of creating a industrial park so continuous development of new new uh, industrialists those who are coming in a industrial park we are getting a chance to introduce ourselves into that so every a day there is a new requirement there is a new specifications and we have to dealt with all of this so it's a every day a new lessons which we are learning from that so what are some key considerations that you have to meet the unique needs of clients in various industries 
different industries are going to have a different parameters obviously matlab uh, warehouses are there those who are agile in time actually because that timeline is more critical uh, cost is also more critical when the complex projects are coming like we recently got akurai has recently got one of the good government project about uh, uh, creation of locomotive state which is uh, government of india's 22000 crores they are investing into that and we are part of the pb we are thrilled to get that order uh, we have worked out for uh, uh, ahmedabad airport that is also another challenges which is coming on uh, we are working for the surat depot uh, smart city depots also so there are also a different kind of uh, exposures are there uh, the range of client is coming from investor to a government sectors and when it is a spectrum like that a sweeper to a general manager so everybody is having a different different kind of specs requirement and everybody is going to demand something new we have to cope up with that every day something new is coming up and akura is ready for that we have a very good dedicated engineering team those who are taking care about at hyderabad as an extension arm after learning the experiences now we set up our extended arm engineering force <coughs> here in ahmedabad which will be going to cater the requirement to our client in engineering terminology by quality driven product nothing more by simply if it has been worked out the timely deliverable with ultimate quality which client is expecting if it is to be maintained then sustainability because see right now in a 3 years also akura is having a 37% repeat client in business to the have a 37% within 2 and 1/2 or 3 years of journey it's a good sustainability because normally if client is not going to have a good experiences with you they will never come back to you because normally what i have observed the client is ready to pay 1 rupee more where he is finding a compatibility because ultimately if his comfort is going to be get taken care of he will ready to pay 1 rupee more and due to that actually the sustainabilities are going to come we are we are coming up with many things in akurai uh, we are going to work out with nabl accreditation lab we are going to get a rdso certificate we are in a process to get aisc certificate to deliver our material to european market so these all things which is going to come once it is been deliver the sustainability is going to come out from the uh, adherence of the timeline and qualitative services we have to respond to the client because normally it is happening sometime uh, we we have a one unwritten rule that if any call which is going to come from the client it has to be responded without fail if you don't know anything even though hi hello will come back and to revert to them that is the idea not to just miss even a single call so what are the main challenges faced by pb companies presently material availability that is number 1 number 2 is that nowadays previously in pb what is happening it was basically conceptualized for a uh, warehouse building on the now the all structural complex buildings are also coming and uh, we have to deliver that to in a steel construction so many things are coming the one is material availability number one number two is that there are epc contractor consultant and pmc is involved into pb nowadays so they do have a different kind of requirement where moqs are creating sometimes a bottleneck for a person like us <coughs> because if certain grade material is required and we have to buy a 20 or 22 metric ton minimum quantity and my requirement is 3 metric ton where do i use 17 metric ton so this all challenges which is coming right now so material is number 1 number 2 is that the deliverable which we have to work out that is also a problem 
paint specifications are always a crucial because ultimately PEB is going to be get worked out by his aesthetic look only. Once the seating and cladding is going to be get placed there, the frame is not visible. But that that aesthetic sense is always becoming a challenge to provide because each individual are having a different perception. I imagine my building in this way, you imagine my building in different way. So that imagination is creating sometimes a bottleneck. The rest is being same steel, cut, weld, fabricate, ship and erect. There is nothing more. <coughs> Technology transfer made Akurai. How has technology transformed your design and construction process at Akurai? That is the latest softwares which one has to use into that. Uh, we do have a, around 12 Tecla licenses that everything is, all minute detail is going to come out from the Tecla. I'm, I'm proud to say that at Akurai in these two and a half years, there is no rework and revision. This is the beauty actually. I am proud to say there is no rework, no revision. Once it has been worked out in entire detailing part, we are not facing even a single problem there. So once it is coming out from that, so the experts are taking care about that. They, they, they are, we are having a 27 people at Hyderabad and 7 people in Ahmedabad. So engineering is the key for us. See, nowadays what is happening, each individual need a building on a tomorrow basis or yesterday basis rather we can say. Because everybody, because of during the corona time, whatever the loss which has been happened, they want to cover it up. Second thing, the grooming market which I am seeing right now in PEB, that is for a data centers, that is for a bridge gutters, that is for heavy structure. These all are a new coming up. Uh, opening in the area actually. Kirby done a fantastic job in a data centers uh, manufacturing. Uh, Phoenix has done a very good work in the work of uh, bridge girder and all. And we are aiming to enter into that particular arena right now. We are gearing up for that to, because it's a, it's a good market. Very frankly speaking, it's a good market. Warehouses are there, always there. It will remain always there because whatever infra is going to be get developed by the government of India in the way of road and rail, both is going to give an opportunity for all warehouse sector also to set up their facilities on the created new infra uh, of road and rail both. That's why in Ahmedabad, if Amazon I am ordering, I can get it in a <coughs> second or third day if the material will be from produced from Delhi, but in Ahmedabad I am getting on a second day itself. Because they have their warehouses everywhere. Are you, are you geared up to go multi-level buildings? That is what data center sir. That is what data center. Multi-level, which we, we are setting, see, within our company, we have a 350 laborers, those who are residing within the company. Now as we are, gearing up to reach to 60,000. We have planned to set up another labor colony and that will be G plus six. That we will be going to design, we will be going to deliver, we will going to erect it and we would like to showcase to market that yes, we have a capability up to to go up G plus six. So that we are doing at our own facility. So then we can showcase to the others actually. That will be the data center, that will be the multi-level, whatever you can say. <coughs> so what are your future plans? Coming in the next uh, we are having a plan to go for a one-stop solutions for our customer. In pre-engineering, there is a requirement for a crane, normally. Uh, there is a requirement due to uh, this environment uh, challenges. Uh, the pop panel or sandwich panel we can say uh, to reduce the timeline for the manufacturing in pre-engineering building uh, we will be going to uh, set up our own 
cut to land CTL line up to 24 mm. We are going to have already uh, operational with a crane actually and it is up to 100 mm which is already operational and uh, we are going into sandwich and manufacturing and pop panel and we are going for uh, CTL line as I told up to 24 mm. We are going for uh, manufacturing of turbo vent at our own plant. We are going to set up our own logistic arm which will be going to provide the facility to deliver on a time to the client and as well as we will giving uh, equipment to our builders, those who are working at site all over India, pan India and we will provide <coughs> them a boom lip and uh, 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 cranes, uh, faranas, hydra, this all we will provide from one plant itself. He has to provide the manpower only. Rest we will going to take care. So it will be a one stop solution. Client need not have to go to a multiple agency to call that kab aara hai, kaisa hoga. We will be going to take care. So that is our, which is I uh, operationally told there also. So that we will be going to work on. This capacity of skilled labor, especially in steel and PV construction. It is. How do you cope? It is. It is. See what is happening. Uh, we are working out to set up our own training center in our QC department. What we will be doing, normally the people are going to stay, workers are going to stay within premise itself. And when they will be going to stay within premises, we have to nurture them. So what is happening, uh, all the peoples are coming out of Gujarat actually, UP and uh, Bihar and all these peoples are, or Maharashtra, uh, Rajasthan rather. So these all people are going to stay there. What we are telling, each individual has to, in a year, at least, invite a two people, fresh, totally fresh, from their native. We will give them, for each individual, a 5,000 rupees as a reward to them. And this person is going to be get trained into our facility in QAQC for no next six months. If he is going to stay for next six months, the concern is going to get the 5,000 rupees as a reward, number one, and this person is going to get the employment on the role of the Akurai. <laughs> yeah, so like, like that, we will be keeping a people rotationally one. See, engineers, it is very easy to find nowadays. We can go to any institute, uh, <coughs> we can get the engineers, mechanical engineers and all. But to find out the fitters, welder, plasma operator, CNC operator, PHI operator, this is challenge. Really this is challenge. So what we will be doing that we are training the people by rotational one. We are providing the facility to stay. We are providing the facility to uh, everything except meal actually. Reason behind that each individuals are having a different taste. So we don't want to go into that arena right now. But we are providing a good facility to them. <coughs> Uh, after two years actually. <laughs> no, it's a good gathering, good gathering. I, I, I am a part of this but I always uh, as a uh, visitor at uh, Delhi or uh, Mumbai or Hyderabad, I was there. But see really this is providing a good platform to a people like us uh, to uh, what you can say enhance our networking. And it is a good platform where we will be interacting with the people, they are providing the input to us where we can do or what the next market is going to be get emerged on the product which we are doing. And uh, it's a good platform, really speaking it's a very good platform where we will be learning from the experts and uh, it's the idea of exchange are absolutely good. And facility wise to always you people are rock on. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you.